everyone welcome back to the next video of this course in this video we're going to see how to handle text box using selenium prep repo basically text box the purpose of the text box is to accept or store some element which was entered by the user so that's the actual purpose of the text box and we have to first locate the text box before doing any interaction when we are writing a script for selenium we should write and locate out with the help of uh, selenium prep driver locators either using id name export or class name or whatever but you have to locate the particular text box that we want to interact with once we are done with the location then we can store it to a web element and with the help of web element we can interact with that particular text box that is what we are going to see if you see this uh, url and you can see that first name last name phone number email these are all accept a text box and this text box accept text alphanumeric and symbol sometimes there might be a restriction on the text box depending upon the web application some, uh, some text box doesn't allow numerical characters some text box only allow numerical character these are the restriction which was put by the web admin or a developer who who want to restrict the use of uh, alphanumeric or alphabets in the text box so if that's the case you need to do a validation you have to write a test case to check that but before going into a deep about the text box just understand how we can write a script to send some value to the particular text box so now we are going to see how to write your first name on the text box that you are seeing right now so to write the first name to write some values on this first text box you should identify the web element of this text box so to identify you have to do a right click and click on inspect so it will take you to the html structure where this text box belongs to so now you can see that it present inside the input tag or the text box which most commonly starts with an input tag and these are all attribute max length first name or all attribute so we can go with a locator name and it has a first name as an attribute value for the attribute name so we'll write a simple x path here so i'm going to write an x path here which starts with an input tag so if you're not sure how to write an x path we do have a separate video where we have explained about x path functions and x path access in a two separate video so just try to make use of that so i'm going to write a simple x path go to input tag and find an attribute with the value first name and you can see that it shows only one result so we can make use of the x path to enter name on this website so let's go back to the eclipse so this one we have already uh, written the code the purpose is it sets the dependency for the chrome driver it makes use of this chrome driver exe to interact with chrome browser and here we are instantiating the new web driver that is referring to a chrome browser and here we are navigating to this particular url that you are seeing right here so up to this we are done and we need to create a web element for this first name and we have to enter some keys let's see how to do that so i need to create a web element so before interacting with any web element or web control it is always a good practice to create a web element instead of just using the driver object like driver.find element uh, by dot id or something and defining a function to send value so it is always recommended to create a web element for that and then you can do an interaction web element let's say the name of the web element as first name equal to driver i just want to find element which contain an x path input at name equal to first attribute so it's showing an error squiggly line because we need to import the corresponding modules so that's it we have successfully created web element for the first name now you can make use of this web element and do whatever the action that you want to do so now i want to enter some text in the text box first text box so i can use the web element variable and you can put a dot and here you can see what are the methods that you can use but we need to enter some text so we have to use the method send key to do that And here you can pass what are the text you need to send. Let's say you will enter a text John. And let's see how it works. 
so let's execute and see so it just launched the website and because of the export it locate the first text box and it enter the value what we have given inside the double quotes so if you want to enter a last name we have to repeat the same step what we have to do is we need to locate the last name text box using this inspector and we can make use of the attribute last name and we can write a simple export at name equal to so now i have to create another web element last name driver dot find element by dot xpath and with the help of this web element i can send some text let's say prints so now this will locate the last name text box and enter the string prints inside the text box let's see how it works launch the website and enter the first name and last name so this is how you can enter some text inside the text box but you can also do some other operation so just assume that uh, by default this uh, first name contains john but you want to enter name some other name I just assume that you want to enter stella or any other name but what you have to do is you just need to clear this one you just need to delete all the one and you have to send case using a send case you have to enter the name which you want to enter in the text box one so to clear or to delete the name which is already present on the website you have to use a method send sorry clear so we have identified the first name and just assume that this first name contain a predefined name so prince was hard coded inside the first name text box first i need to clear i can use a method clear so what it will do means if there is any text which is present inside the text box it will clear and it will enter the name which i have given inside the send keys method okay so let's see what are all the other option that we can perform on this particular text box so we can do clear we already seen and if you want to click on this text box inside the text box you can use click method to click so sometime if you send some particular string to the text box it won't accept because it may this uh, mouse cursor or some other web element get focused so what you have to do is uh, sometimes you may need to click on this text box before doing any actions so if if you just write first name dot send keys and if it doesn't work so what you have to do is you have to start debugging if there isn't any frame which is present if the if this text box is present inside any frame or if it not present inside any frame then you have to debug whether any other element got focus if there is no other element got focus then there is something which is uh, wrong in the script either you have to go with an actions or a javascript to rectify that so but before proceeding into that you can use a click method to just click on that particular text box and you can use a send keys and if you want to find some other element which is present inside the text box you can use this method and this gate location return the top left hand corner of the rendered element where on the page is the top left hand so it return a point containing the location of the top left hand corner of the element so it will take this as a reference and return the points and get, you can take a screenshot and you can get the size of the text box it return the size of the element on the page and you can get the tag name if you use this get tag name it will return as an input tag and get text if there is any text which is present inside the text box so if you want to validate what was the text which already present before doing a clear you can use this get text and store it in a string variable and if you want to do any operation on that you can do or you can just use a dot clear to clear the text and you enter your new text in the text box so this is displayed is just to ensure that whether the text box is displayed to the user or not is enabled you can use on this particular text box to check whether it is uh, enabled that means the user can interact or it's in a disabled if it is a disabled user cannot do any action on the particular text box so e selected is not applicable for text box and 
the remaining things are common to selenium so these are the operation that you can perform on text box and you can also send some keys using a javascript executor that we will see when we are dealing with javascript executor we will cover in a separate tutorial as of now just try to interact with any text box using the basic locators either using xpath id or name or whatever the locator which you prefer just write a script and practice with handling a text box now in the next video we will move on to how to handle the radio button and check boxes in the next video so if you like this video give thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you bye bye